to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit more different I'm not gonna be focusing so much on the eyes but on the face how to contour and highlight for beginners as you can see on the title but um yeah so I just wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks on how I find contour and highlight very easy and I'm gonna be giving some tips and tricks on how it could apply to you because not everybody has my face shape and not everybody has my skin color so I'm gonna tell you guys how you can find the perfect contour color for you highlight color for you and also how you can apply contour suiting to your face shape so if you guys want to learn how to contour and highlight please keep on watching bye okay girls so I already have my foundation and my powder on just because I didn't want to waste so much time on camera putting foundation when everybody knows how to put foundation. I want to focus more on the contour and highlight and I usually like to put my powder first and then my highlight just because the concealer sets matte so I personally like that and I'm also not going to be contouring with cream because I find that as a beginner I don't think I would have done cream like I would be intimidated by that but I feel it's more easier if you guys contour with powder for beginners because it's just super, super simple. So I'm going to start off with my highlight. For my highlight, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear and NW15. And the way you find your perfect uh, under eye highlight is you always have to do two shades lighter than your skin color. So for example, uh, for MAC, like my foundation and my powder. Um, in let me check NC30. So I'm um, NC30 on my skin color, so I would be basically like an NC10 for my highlight. But I don't even I don't know if they even have 10. But I went with the 15 just because I don't want it to look so white because I'm already so light. But um, yeah. So that's how you do it. So if you're an NC50, you would just do NC20, NC25. And that's how you find your perfect highlight. A really big tip, I guess, is that the ideal face shape for a woman is oval. So if you have a square face, your goal is to get your face to look like an oval as much as possible. I have a, like a long face, but I'm chubby, so I, like, I have a lot of cheeks and I kind of look like I have a circle face. But if you have like a square face, you're going to try to elongate it and cut the corners uh, on your face. And if you have like a heart shaped face, you want to um, not put so much highlight on top, but focus it a little bit more on the bottom. So, yeah. So what we're trying to do is make our face look slimmer. And I like to do this. And I also um, pull it backwards because my face is like very circle so I'm trying to make it look skinny you know if you already have an elongated face you don't have to bring it down so much but just focus a little bit more towards uh, closer to your eye and also if you already have a slim face you don't want to pull it outwards because it'll look weird <laughs> just to give your chin a little bit of light and we're just focusing the highlight um, on the high points of the face on the t-zone basically and in my forehead since I already have a huge forehead I'm pretty sure everybody knows this by now um, I don't want to put so much highlight on my forehead because it's just make it it's gonna make it look wider and bigger so I try to put just a little bit or sometimes I don't even put anything at all and also down the bridge of your nose so these are the main 
points on the face <laughs> but yeah so now blend it all out So usually when I'm putting my highlight, I like to blend as I go because then sometimes it, it dries because prolonger tends to really dry fast. But right now, I had to do what I had to do, you know? <laughs> now to contour. Just like the highlight, um, as I mentioned, there is a warm and a cool. And also for contour, there is a cool. This one is a little bit more ashy and this one is more warm. A warm is just going to give you more of a bronzy contour and a cool uh, cool color is usually going to give you a more natural shadows of your face uh, contour. So it's either or, you can use whichever one you guys want. Sometimes I like to use both or sometimes I just like to look more bronzy and I go for the warm color. It all depends on your preference. If you're a darker skinned girl, make sure to not go so warm because you'll just end up looking very tan and red in the face so just be careful with that and also with the contour you find your perfect color by going two shades darker than your natural skin color this is an N, N5 and as I said for my MAC I'm an N30 so this is two shades higher because it's 3, 4, 5 <laughs> So that's how you choose your perfect contour, two shades darker than your face. If you have a square face, again, you're going to try to concentrate your contour on the corners of your forehead and not so much in the on top, right here. <laughs> and also focus the contour right here, kind of cutting the square, the square on your face and on the cheeks. The cheeks everybody does the cheeks <laughs> and on the nose I feel it just all depends that's very personal the nose is very personal so you just kind of have to figure out how to contour your nose I'm gonna teach you guys but every nose is different so it's you know different <laughs> if you have a heart shaped face you want to concentrate more your contour on top and not so much on your jaw and if you have a circled face like I do you want to contour all over Oh my goodness, I'm wearing white pants, and if this powder gets on my pants, I'm gonna like kill someone. I like to use this really small, like dense brush, and this is from Bare Minerals. Um, I'm gonna use the Ashy, the cool color uh, bronzer contour. <laughs> Concentrate that color on your cheekbone right here. So where the contour goes is a lot of people do this, you can suck in your cheeks right there. But if you don't want to do that, you can just touch your cheekbone and where your cheekbone ends, right here, this is where the contour goes. Or also, I have a lot of tips for this, <laughs> uh, at, the end, at the top of your ear, you just go straight. So I'm going to do a line. just like that a harsh line it's fine you don't have to blend you just yet and we're gonna do the same thing towards the other side I like to kind of scoop mine in since I have chubby cheeks uh, this kind of gives an illusion of more sucked in cheeks <laughs> and uh, uh, it, it kind of gives an illusion of uh, like a higher cheekbone also If you're skinny, you're obviously not going to do that. Since I used the cool color, this is going to give an illusion of the real contours of your face. So that's what I like to do first. And then I go in with the warm to kind of blend it out and give me that bronzy look on my face. Now with the warmer color, this is from... 
uh, Maybelline Mineral Powder in Dark. Now for the forehead, I just like to use a warm color and I go all around because I have a like a circle face and also because I have a huge forehead so I'm trying to eliminate as much forehead as, as I can. Like I said, if you don't have a big forehead, <laughs> uh, you just have to contour just a little bit if you have a square forehead on the corners and if you have a like a narrow forehead, you try to concentrate the color just in the middle. I already have a round face so I don't need to cut out anything but I do want to kind of make it look a little bit more crisp and sharp your jawline so you bring it downward because you don't want that double color to to look weird <laughs> For the nose, I don't usually like to um, use a warm color because it'll make your nose look red. <laughs> so we try to use usually always the cool tones on the nose. My nose is really wide in the front so I try to concentrate the color more right here and not so much on top but you always try to connect the contour with your brow. For me, it looks like if I leave my nose like this, it looks like it's ongoing forever. So I like to kind of put some in the bottom to make it look a little bit more lifted. I'm going to just go in with my powder now and kind of blend it all, all together. The thing about when you put the highlight on top of your powder when you already had finished your foundation, uh, one thing you can do is that you don't have to put any translucent powder if you don't have any on top because it's already mattified because of the powder. It kind of transforms into powder, so it's pretty cool. I like to do it like that, but if you do have a translucent powder, just go over it and, you know, that never hurt. But now I'm just going to blend everything together. Okay, so after all that is done, now we're just going to go on with our blush and put that in the apples of our cheeks. Now for the fun part, I'm going to go in with MAC Soft and Gentle and put it as my highlight, I'm going to put that on my cheekbones. So this is the final look girls, I hope you all enjoyed and learned a little bit of something new, you know, I hope my tips and tricks helped all of you guys. Uh, I hope you also try it out and if you've never contoured and highlight, you guys just saw how easy and simple it is to do it. So, you know, it always just sharpens your face and you look so glowy and bronzy and nice so if you guys enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up because it always lets me know you guys enjoy these kind of videos and I will be doing a tutorial on my eyebrows very soon so also I want to give a big thank you to all my subbies for the amazing response I got with the video with me and my babe I read a lot of comments that you guys enjoyed it a lot so 
Uh, definitely we will be doing a lot more challenges me and him he doesn't want to because he like suffered a lot but you know it was fun and you guys liked it so you know I always want to give you what you guys want and like if you guys have any requests on anything you would like me to do please comment down below don't hesitate and I will try my best to get it up as soon as possible also I have a little something something for you guys I will be doing a giveaway very very soon just to show my appreciation to you guys I really love you all thank you for the support and amazing comments nobody hasn't been rude to me yet so thank you for that please don't forget to subscribe share the video if you liked it share the video if you learned something and you would like people to know more about what i just did and thank you guys so 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 much from the bottom of my heart and until next video bye